when you're walking down the hallway or you're in class. How many of you have ever felt the weight pressing down on you? Hmm? I have. Everyone. To deliberately believe in lies while knowing they're false. Examples of this in everyday life. Oh, I need to be pretty to be happy. I need surgery to be pretty. I need to be thin, famous, fashionable. Our young men today are being told that women are whores, bitches, things to be screwed, beaten, shit on, and shamed. This is a marketing holocaust. 24 hours a day, for the rest of our lives, the powers that be are hard at work, dumbing us to death. So, to defend ourselves and fight against assimilating this dullness into our thought processes, we must learn to read, to stimulate our own imagination, to cultivate our own consciousness, our own belief systems. We all need these skills to defend, to preserve, our own minds. So what, what is all this supposed to be? Your tortured soul? Why, why don't you paint something cheerful, like happy with color? What do you want from me, Dad, besides for me to have informant peace? I don't work all day to have my night ruined by your teen angst. Most liaise might get you a full ride to Stanford if you were some minority kid. And I am not going to support you and your little creative habits, okay? I've had it with all your little art projects that are going nowhere. You always know what to say, Dad. No, if you, if you grew your hair and lost some weight, you could attract a nice boy, who knows? things that we're dealing with, right? And we all um, take them home with us at night, take them to work with us in the morning. I think that helplessness, that realization, that foreboding of Drift. <laughs> 